हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर चंद्रिका शेखर वर्किंग एज एन ऑब्स्टेटिशियन एंड गैनिकोलॉजिस्ट एट चिराग हॉस्पिटल जेपी नगर सेकेंड फेज आई एम ऑल्सो ए विजिटिंग कंसल्टेंट एट मालती मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल जयनगर नाइन्थ ब्लॉक अपोलो क्रेडल हॉस्पिटल जयनगर फिफ्थ ब्लॉक एंड मदरवुड हॉस्पिटल बनशंकरी सेकेंड स्टेज causes of heavy menstrual periods in teenage see in teenage it is a different uh, phase of the human life teenage is a place when the lady has just mature so there is a system called the hypothalamus the pituitary the ovaries and the uterus these are all the things that are involved in the production of menses okay so if there is any hormonal problem in this axis uh, heavy bleeding can happen so what i tell is in teenage that is a time when periods have just started that is menarche that is she starts having periods that time when they are very young girls the system that is the endocrine system which is involved in the menstrual periods will not have uh, properly set itself it is not uh, the biological clock is still getting adjusted to the body so because of that phase there may be some heavy bleeding and sometimes it may be uh, scanty bleeding also so what i tell the teenage girls when they are having heavy bleeding is first few months we have to wait but if it is going on for a very long time it is not good to wait because i don't want a young girl to unnecessarily lose so much of blood so then you have to see your doctor so that she will see what is the cause for heavy menstrual bleeding so heavy menstrual bleeding the commonest causes that can happen is one thing is you must have heard of what is called as fibroid fibroid is a muscle tumor which is inside the muscles of the uterus and this fibroids are commonly known to produce heavy menstrual bleeding it is not a cancerous tumor it is a benign tumor but the problem that it causes is heavy flow of the periods so this is one of the commonest cause for heavy menstrual period and other causes is irregularities in the hormone secretion so there are mainly two hormones female hormones which involves the menses okay one is the estrogens and the other is the progesterone in any normal lady the ovaries produces this hormones in a cyclical way first initial part of the month it produces what is called as estrogen and this estrogen increases the thickness of the endometrium that is thickness of the inner lining of the uterus and when the thickness increases that is what is shed during periods so when a thick layer is spread naturally the bleeding will be heavy so naturally what happens is after the initial growth phase of this inner lining of the uterus that is endometrium then comes the progesterone this progesterone acts on the uterine prime by estrogen by trying to compress it means trying to making so compact so that it shrinks a little so that it will control the amount of bleeding that happens in the periods so some patients will not have this production of progesterone they have unopposed secretion of estrogens which is the cause of heavy periods and this is commonly seen in patients who don't ovulate ovulate matlab if they don't release eggs from the ovaries so that is what a normal female will be a, will be fertile lady so she has to produce one egg every month and when this happens normally this heavy bleeding does not happen because there is a control of estrogen growth by the progesterone so if this is not there it can produce heavy periods that is seen commonly every one of you will have heard about what is called as pcod polycystic ovarian disease this is a disease wherein there is no ovulation so there is unopposed production of estrogen and because of unopposed production of estrogen and unwanted thickening of the endometrium there is heavy menstrual bleeding this is one of the commonest causes so whenever there is heavy menstrual bleeding you just meet your doctor so that she'll find out the cause of the bleeding and then she'll take necessary action so in elderly ladies that is those who have already had children those are married and such people when they have heavy menstrual bleeding and they are after 40s we have to always think of whether the endometrium is normal or if the heavy bleeding is happening we should always think whether they are having any malignancy so in those cases one thing what we do is diagnostic dnc that is to diagnose what it is we scrape the heavy bleeding endometrium and we'll send that scrape part for biopsy so when we send it for biopsy when we get the report of the biopsy we will know what is the cause of the heavy bleeding so one of the causes of this heavy bleeding or sometimes endometrial cancer if it is endometrial cancer we have to take some radical action so if it is otherwise just a hyper production of estrogen that time we have to balance it with adding of some progesterone cyclically so this is how heavy menstrual bleeding can be controlled so these are the causes for heavy menstrual bleeding and one more thing in young, very young girls if there is heavy bleeding 
what we have to think is if they have any breeding disorder that is one thing common in very young teenage girls see that is one thing what we have seen is idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura idiopathic in this cases thrombocytes are very low that is platelets count is very low in their blood because of platelet counts being very low all the wherever they bleed they have tendency to bleed more that is their bleeding is they have a nature to bleed more so that is one of the causes so those patients they have to look into what is the cause of the deficiency in their thrombocytes that is platelets and the doctor will take care of it in a proper way so these are the causes for heavy menstrual bleeding and their management